A few weeks ago, I built a double-ended flip-top workbench to create more storage space for tools in my workshop. My favorite feature was the DIY outfeed rollers that I used opposite my brand new rigid planer. I usually work alone in my shop, so that can make tasks like feeding extra long boards through a planer very difficult. These inexpensive outfeed rollers have been a lifesaver and could be adapted to use with a number of tools, including a table saw. Keep watching to see how easy they were to make. The first step was to install the planer on one side of the flip top workbench where I knew it was going to stay. I then found a scrap board that I knew was straight, flat, and true. It happened to be a piece of melamine, but it doesn't matter what the material is, as long as it's straight. I pushed the board through the planer so it extended over the opposite flip top. I set up the outfeed sides vertically on either side of the board and then used a pencil to trace the line of the bottom of the board so I would get an exact location of where boards would outfeed from the planer. I then placed the side pieces next to each other. I then measured the sides and divided that length into seven equal sections. This will indicate where each individual roller is located. At the intersections, I drilled a pilot hole to make attaching the rollers easier. You liking what you see? Make sure to hit that like button. And while you're at it, subscribe to my channel. I used a center finder tool that I picked up from Rockler to mark the centers of each end of seven 15 inch dowels. I then carefully pre-drilled into those ends as well. Next, I grabbed one of the boards that I was going to use for the side runners. I aligned and attached each dowel into its marked location using three inch screws. Once those were all in place, I began to cut the PVC sleeves. I found a 10 foot length of PVC pipe with an inner diameter slightly larger than the outer diameter of the wood dowels. The little bit of space between them will allow the PVC to roll more easily. I aligned the second sideboard and began driving screws into the opposite ends of the dowels. I checked to make sure that each of the PVC rollers could still move freely. I placed the roller assembly on the opposite flip top from my planer. To attach it to the work surface, I countersunk 3 8 inch holes and then drove 3 and a half inch screws through the sides of the assembly and into the work surface. I've been using the planer and outfeed rollers for a few weeks now and it works great. It's almost like having an extra set of hands. My biggest concern was alignment, but I have had no trouble and I got it at the perfect height the first time. Make sure to go back and watch the double-ended flip top workbench video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Pneumatic Datic channel. Thanks for watching guys.